Hello everyone, today is October 23rd, 2019, and I'm coming to you with some breaking news. Today, PTC announced that they are acquiring Onshape. And if you're not familiar with Onshape, that is a CAD company that was founded by the founders of SolidWorks. And as you can see on here, Onshape is the industry's first pure SAAS, software as a service platform that unites robust CAD with powerful data management and collaboration tools. I'll go into more detail about that, but what that means is that Onshape is a cloud-based CAD solution, and again, it comes to you from the people that brought you SolidWorks. Here is the letter from Jim Heppelman announcing the acquisition of Onshape. Uh, this was reportedly acquired for $470 million, and it set, as it says here in the letter, they expect the acquisition to be completed in November. So in other words, next month. So it could be just a matter of a few weeks before Onshape is a part of PTC. So let's talk a little bit more about Onshape, the company, also Onshape's tools, and their founders. So Onshape was founded back in 2012 as Belmont Technology, and they're based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. PTC is now based in Boston, Massachusetts, so they are right next to each other. And when Onshape was founded, it had four different funding rounds. The last one was in 2016. The first round was for $9 million. The last one was for $105 million. And between the other two in between those rounds, it was a total of $169 million raised in order to start Onshape. And right now they reportedly have about 5,000 subscribers. They have an estimated annual revenue of $10.5 million and an estimate of 12,000 monthly downloads. When they come into PTC, they're going to be their own separate business unit that's going to be reporting directly to Jim Heppelman. So let's talk more about Onshape the product. Onshape is a CAD tool, so you have the ability to create parts, assemblies, and drawings. And with your parts, you can create solids and surfaces, and as it, as it notes in here, you can use both bottom-up and top-down design techniques. For assemblies, you have access to standard hardware libraries, and dr your drawings can also have make use of the various different BOM tools, and for different configurations, you can create various different families. Now, here are some of the other different aspects that make Onshape more than just a CAD tool. You also get data management, collaboration, and workflows. So, in other words, you have the ability to release and revise your parts and assemblies and drawings using Onshape. Also, you've got real-time collaboration. So the data management is different than what you might be used to if you are a windchill user. Uh, it sounds like there aren't check-ins and checkouts, but as you make changes, the database is automatically updated so everyone gets notified of the changes in real time. And in addition to that, you have the ability to do branching and merging of those branches. So it sounds a little bit sort of like the design exploration extension. One other thing to mention about Onshape is that it does have analytics capability, so in different dashboards for being able to measure the progress of your different products. The first release of Onshape was back in December 2015, so just under four years ago. The next year, they released something called FeatureScript, which is an open source coding platform that people can use for writing applications that work with Onshape. And if you go to the Onshape website, you can go to their app store, you can see that they have a lot of different apps for various different functions that you can purchase in order to complement the functionality within Onshape. And some, so some of these different ones include finite element analysis capability like with Altair SimSolid. You also have computer-aided manufacturing from VisualCam C and Kirimoto. You have Onshape Connect for MasterCam. 
You have the cap capability for engineering calculations with SwiftCalc and CADWolf. There's OpenBOM. You also have Simscape Multibody for connecting your models to MATLAB and Simulink. You can do 3D printing via iMaterialize and Pinshape 3D. There's assembly planning. There's even a virtual wind tunnel. So there are are a lot of different apps in here. I believe the number is around 50 or so that you can also purchase in order to increase the power of the functionality that you have within Onshape. Let's talk about the founders of Onshape because one of the big selling points about them is that these are also the founders of SolidWorks. First off, John Hirschstick. He is the CEO of Onshape and the chairman of the board. He founded SOLIDWORKS back in 1993, and there's an interesting story about that. He has a bachelor's degree and master's degree in mechanical engineering from MIT. Back when he was at MIT, he was part of the Blackjack Club. He was a member, and he was also an instructor, and he won a lot of money playing Blackjack. And he took $1 million of his winnings and used that to start SOLIDWORKS back in 1993 and he was the first CEO. SOLIDWORKS was acquired by Dassault back in 1997 and then he became an executive at Dassault for about 14 years or so. John Hirschstick was followed by John McElhinney as the CEO of SOLIDWORKS and so John McElhinney was the CEO of SOLIDWORKS from 1996 through 2007. Prior to that, he was in marketing at Computer Vision from 1989 to 1995. And before that, I've seen information that he was at Raytheon. And John McElhinney has a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from the University of Rochester, a Master's in Manufacturing Systems Engineering from Boston University, and an MBA from Northeastern. Next to talk about is Dave Corcoran. Dave Corcoran is, was the vice president of product at OnStage. And prior to that, when he was at SolidWorks, he was the executive vice president of research and development. Before that, he was also at Computer Vision, like John McElhinney, and he was the director of research and development. And before that, he was with Pratt & Whitney. And he has a bachelor's of science in applied math at Brown University. Michael Lauer is the Chief Technology Officer of Onshape. Prior to that, he was with SolidWorks and Revit and Computer Vision. He has a Bachelor of Science in Math and Physics from the University of Tennessee and a PhD in Applied Math from MIT. The other two on here, Tommy Lee, or maybe it's pronounced Tommy Lai, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing it, and Scott Harris, both of them are retired. So. Tommy Lee retired in 2014. He was the Vice President of Modeling Technology at SolidWorks, and he has a Master of Science in Computer Engineering from Northeastern, and a Master of Science in Nuclear Engineering from the University of Wisconsin at Madison. And Scott Harris, he retired a couple years ago. When he was at SolidWorks, he was the Vice President of New Product Concepts, and he was the Director of Product Engineering at Computer Vision. And before that, he was at Pratt & Whitney as well, just like Dave Corcoran. And he has a Bachelor's of Science in Mechanical Engineering from Worcester Polytechnic. So again, here you have the founders of SolidWorks, created Onshape, and now Onshape is going to PTC. If you've been following PTC since Jim Heppelman became CEO, this strategy of acquisition should not be surprising to you. PTC has acquired a number of different companies over the past few years. And just taking a look at since, say, 2013, PTC has acquired ThingWorks for IoT, Internet of Things. Back in 2015, they acquired Vuforia for augmented reality and Kepware for IIoT, industrial Internet of Things. And last year, they acquired Frustum for the generative design technology, which we're going to see in Creo Parametric 7.0 in March 2020, and Waypoint Labs for generating work instructions with augmented reality. Also in the past couple years, 
We've seen PTC make partnerships with Ansys to bring us Creo Simulation Live and Sumerix for the Creo Flow Analysis Extension. So Jim does have this history, and I hope it continues, of him bringing in other companies into PTC in order to make the suite of products stronger and bigger. Now I'm going to speculate about what I think this means to PTC and the CAD market. First off, I think this is going to help PTC build inroads to more of the low to mid end CAD market, which is typically dominated by other companies uh, such as SolidWorks. And this will really help them because since they're delivering this software as a service solution, it's going to make a much lower barrier to entry for companies that want to get into these different CAD products because they don't have to invest in the infrastructure for IT. Also, this is going to help PTC with their transition to a subscription model. I know a lot of people don't like the subscription model, but the honest truth is companies make more money from subscription than if you purchase the software and pay a maintenance fee. Third, I think this provides an advantage to Onshape if they have customers who want to transition from their product to more of a high-end tool, whether that going to be switching over to Creo Parametric or if they're going to bring some of the advanced modeling functionality from Creo Parametric into Onshape. The last two benefits I think are huge. Uh, I, I suspect that Creo Parametric is going to become a cloud offering at some point and to be able to use Creo Parametric through a web browser as opposed to having software installed on your computer is going to be a huge benefit to companies. Also, another huge benefit here is the public relations value and the technology benefit. Again, these are people who started SolidWorks and SolidWorks does have that reputation that's well earned that it is easy to learn and easy to use. And one of the pain points that Creo Parametric has is the perception that users say that the interface is not as friendly as something like SolidWorks and the workflows aren't as easy as something like SolidWorks. So hopefully those founders of SolidWorks in Onshape can bring their knowledge and expertise to make Creo Parametric a better product. So again, big news today, PTC acquiring Onshape. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to point out in the upper right hand corner, you can see that you can request a free trial of the software. I will be doing that and I will be playing around with Onshape and showing you what I learned from it. And so we can get a preview of what Onshape is going to bring into the PTC family of products. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.